Good morning everyone. It is Thursday the 16th of December and uh, this morning we're going to go back into the Gospel of Luke for our Advent reading. This morning we're going to read from Luke chapter 2, uh, a short reading from verses 8 to 12. Let's hear what it has to say. That night, while the shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep, suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Saviour, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognise him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Can you imagine being there that night? Can you imagine being on that hillside when the, the angel appeared? It says an angel of the Lord. You've got to wonder, was it Gabriel? Was it the angel who had appeared to Zechariah and then to Mary to tell them that they would both be having babies? Or was it a different angel? Doesn't matter. It was just the fact that an angel appeared in the middle of these shepherds to tell them about a amazing news that happened he knew how they were feeling he knew they were scared he said to them don't be afraid you know quite often in life we are afraid we're afraid about what's going to happen today or what's going to happen tomorrow we're afraid about our futures we're afraid that we're not going to know how to cope or how to get on with things there are lots of fears that we have that angel knew how those shepherds were feeling because God told them that they'd be scared. Those words that the angel brings are words from God. Don't be afraid. And God gives us the same words today. He says to us, don't be afraid. Why? Because we can trust him. Because we have a God who loves us and who cares for us. And who knows everything that's going to happen today and tomorrow. Who knows everything that's happened in the past. He knows how it all fits together, even though we don't. And he asks us to trust him. Those shepherds were told about something amazing that had happened. They trusted the word of the angel. They trusted that what the angel told them was true. And we're going to see that um, tomorrow as they go and then see this little baby. So they trust the word. We know that we can trust God and trust his word. We know we can trust his love for us. How much he cares for us. We know we can trust that that saviour who was born in, little babe, in the manger as a little baby was a saviour not just for the nation of Israel, but also a saviour for us. Because we have a God who is amazing, who is incredible, and a God who wants to restore our relationship with him. But just think again, can you imagine being that hillside? Can you imagine being one of those shepherds, seeing an angel of God appear? And hear him speak and hear him say that a saviour has been born. They were so privileged. They were so blessed. We are privileged and blessed because we have it written down for us. We have it recorded in God's word. We are privileged and blessed because we can read it freely and we can do this. And we can let other people hear it as well. We thank God for all the privileges and blessings that we have. We thank God that we don't have to be afraid because we can trust him. Let's pray together this morning. Dear God and loving Heavenly Father, thank you that we can trust you. Trust you with every aspect of our life. Trust that you know better than what we know. Trust that we can always rely upon you. Lord, whenever we are afraid, help us to turn to you. Whenever something shakes us, help us to hold on firmly to you, knowing that you're the one who always holds us and never lets us go. Father, thank you that we can trust you. Help us this day, and may we put our trust and our faith in you, and may we hold on to you. For it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. See you again tomorrow. Take care. God bless.